Tuffy is now in his forever home. Gus is hiding underneath the dresser over there, but purring very loudly. He walked around a little bit and checked things out, started purring, and decided to park his little booty under there for a little bit. New surroundings, we understand that. And Tuffy said, I'm hungry. So that's a little bed over there. And we brought the little carrier in with a little blanket in there so they can kind of get in there. This is our third bedroom, the wife's little area back here. So, yeah, what is that? Yeah. Giving himself a bath. Walter's giving himself a bath underneath the... Gus. Gus, excuse me. Walter is Gus's friend that passed away. And so we brought Gus home to live with us. Gus and Tuffy. They'll be back here in this room for a little while, kind of getting used to things, acclimated. There's their brand new litter box over there. Their south-facing window. Kitty, 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 kitty. Tuffy. Oh, that motor's running. You got that motor running. You got that motor running, I think, yeah. Checking everything out. Nothing dangerous under there, anyway. I don't think so. Okay. Is that him? Mm -hmm. And Gus is over there purring up a storm. Happy as he can be. Kitty, 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 kitty. I don't know if that's happening. I don't know if they purr when they're nervous. Well, I, he, to see, so. he's kind of... I think he's over there because, you remember when he was in the Get Acquainted room? He kept wanting to go there and he, he kind of felt safe back in his cage, I think. And I think he it's feels safe. safe under there. That's okay. And okay. over time, I think he'll, he'll kind of he'll kind of come around and be just fine. Box, yeah. They've got their own TV back here. I had to put on the Animal Planet for them. And... Yeah. Like, who's They're just doing fine. 